Hey, welcome back to another episode of Nezumi Draws. So recently I watched a drama called Cain and Abel. Um, so it's a Japanese drama and I quite rather liked it. It was, it was interestingly done. Um, and you, like, okay, I don't understand some of the stuff, like, what goes on in businesses and business management and stuff like that. I have no idea if it's accurate or not, or plausible or not. But the drama between the two brothers, um, that was definitely, yeah, like, the older brother's always perfect, the younger brother's always off in his own world doing his own thing. And just the sort of way that expectations can start to build this identity and when your identity itself is threatened or crumbled like how do you react so it, it, it was really interesting um, but towards the end there was a scene where two of the main characters were talking and it was like sunrise or sunset I don't remember which one um, but I quite liked the colors in it so, I thought I would draw one of the characters, well, one of the actors at that moment, well. Um, am I biased? Yes, I watched several of this ac person's, like, acting dramas and movies and stuff. Um, watched Cain and Abel, what else is he in? Um, Kiwadoi Futari which recently was on TV. Um, <laughs> his role was to cry in every episode, I swear. Oh my gosh. He, yeah, um, anyway. Um, also, he was in Assassination Classroom. He played Nagisa. Um, which at the time, he can't pass as a middle schooler. That was really weird about that movie. They're all, they all look like high schoolers. They don't look like middle schoolers. Um, but yeah okay he has that sort of i guess slightly androgynous look that nagisa has so that kind of made sense but they like changed the hairstyle completely <laughs> it didn't matter it wasn't the same hmm. but yeah i thought i'd draw him i mean the pose itself wasn't anything interesting i guess hmm. silhouette wise it's kind of but usually I do a lot of line art, and I thought this time I wouldn't do line art. Which was also really confusing to try and do, so I'm just trying to focus on shapes and trying to get used to using other features that Krita Kri 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 has. Um, I don't know what features it has, nor how to use them properly. So this is basically me guessing. Yeah, if I sound a little bit, like, strange, it's actually, I'm still recovering from a really bad, bad sinus infection, which was no fun. And then I had an ear infection too, which was worse fun. It was a pain. And yet, I still managed to do a new song! So, some who listened to it asked, why is there a weird echo thing going on? Is that like by choice or did you have trouble? The answer is both. I wanted a weird echo in there and yet I guess because um, I have no idea. Um, it's not quite the echo I want. <laughs> Well, I have no idea how to fix it. What I could hear when I was listening to it, it's like, that's almost it. Why is there this echo? <laughs> but I can't tell if it's in my head or not. So, yeah, I think really, like, I don't know the details of music production. I'm basically just making it up. Also, here, like, I drew the background. I I couldn't find the brushes that I wanted to get the effects I wanted, so basically I was just like, this is close enough. And I don't generally draw backgrounds in 
digitally, so it was like, what does a plant look like? Honestly, I asked myself so many stupid questions during this part. What do plants look like? What does, like, a piece of grass look like? I don't remember. I haven't been outside in so long. But, you know, with all the stuff happening and our friend, not friend, the thing making everyone sick. So, you know, stay home and all the rest. So, um, I haven't been inside in ages. You know, I, I feel like I forgot what grass looks like. I'm not even sure the last time I walked on grass, to be honest. No, seriously, I don't think I... Oh my gosh, I really don't remember. Wow. Yeah, anyway, so, um, I couldn't quite catch the peach colour that I really wanted. It was always coming off slightly different. This was the other thing I was trying to do. Shadows, like two separate s sort of... Usually I just go, it's a shadow, it's grey, and it's a highlight, it's white. Um, but this is a sunset specifically, so part of it is being lit orange, part of it is lit blue. Um, that was really confusing. And then adding blue tone to skin, I'm I'm very um I'm not great, <laughs> so I'm kind of scared of that. And it was really hard to do. And some of the shadows had very strange shapes that I was really confused with what they were doing and where they were going. So, hmm, that was kind of kind of hard to do. I mean, I'm happy with that smile there. That's very, that's very Yamata. That that is very much his little smirk thing. So I've watched a few of his dramas. I mean, I don't know how he goes for the rest of acting, but hey, the boy can cry. <laughs> And you feel bad when he's crying, it's like, oh no. <laughs> She's also definitely shorter than the rest of the cast. Um, that can be also a bit like, oh, poor thing. So small. So then the poor small thing is crying, it's like, oh no. <laughs> brush for the hair that I like though. So I was quite happy with that little discovery. And tried to fix up the background, get the shading a bit more. 